28, <coughs> 23 AHL. Uh, this is time zone 2, paper 1, question 6. Uh, it's a random variable question. Seems to be quite popular lately. Uh, so similar to the setup, uh, they give you the probability density function and then ask for the mean. Now, if you know what this distribution is, then it's possible that you can just know the mean. That's why it's one mark and it's state. But this distribution is not in the syllabus. So uh, I'm guessing not that many of you know this. Um, then, then it's not that intuitive to just know the mean. Uh, in that case, you have to actually do it using the definition of mean, right, which is still not too hard. All right, x squared over 2, and we sub mean. So we get what? We get, we sub in 3a into x, but x is squared, so that's 9a squared over 2 minus a squared over 2. Which is eight a square over two, so it's four two, and then the a cancel out, so it's two a. So the mean is two a, but if you know the meaning of this distribution, uh, that could be obvious. This is known as the uniform distribution because uh, the PDF is actually just a fixed number. A is a constant, right? So it's like the PDF is just like a constant at 1 over 2a. So it's like a line. And this PDF is defined between a and 3a. And what's the meaning of mean, right? It's like on average, what value would you get? Well, since this PDF is just like a rectangle, then by symmetry, uh, the mean is 2a. So that's why the mean is 2a. Uh, and then b is also straightforward. You just do the variance by the variance definition. So you do the integral of x squared fx and then minus the mean squared. So we'll do this first. So it's x squared times 1 over 2a integral uh, what's that? X3 over 3. Similarly, that's what? 3 cubed is 27. Minus A cubed. So that's 26 over 2 is 13. A cubed over this A is A squared. So the variance is that thing minus the squared of the mean which is what which is 4a squared we need a common denominator to minus so it's 12a squared over 3 so it's a squared over 3 